Hello and warm greetings. Time to present you the English news at this time. The U.S. Secretary of State Defense, Jim Mattis, met with the President Mohammed Ashafghani after arriving in Kabul during an unannounced visit. The Office of the President at Palace say the two sides discussed the fight against terrorism in the region, counted narcotics of force and security of the upcoming elections. President Ghani said the new strategy of the United States for South Asia has impacts on regional situation significantly paving the way for further concentration on the peace of Ford and for this reason the Afghan government has invited a Taliban to negotiation for peace as well as an offer was made to Pakistan on government to government level talks for reconciliation. He also added that the Afghan government is working on a comprehensive plan to pave the way for the repatriation of the Afghan refugees from Pakistan. President said the return of the refugees will help the ongoing efforts for reconciliation. The local officials in Eastern Konarka province say dozens of artillery shells were fired on Dangam district from the other sides of the dual line. District Administrative Chief of Dangam, Muhammad Rahman Danish, say that more than 200 rounds of artillery shells landed on Dangam district late on Sunday night. He said. Shelling started late on Sunday night and continued for several hours, causing damages to the properties of the local residents. Danish said the shelling did not incur any casualty to the local residents, but some agricultural fields received damage due to the artillery shells impact. Meanwhile, this comes as cross-border shelling of on Konar province has stopped during the recent weeks. The provincial governor of Konar province, Wahid Allah Kalim Zai, said, Last month, the National Defence and Security Forces have received instructions to respond to the cross-border in in incursions. U.S. President Donald Trump ousted Security Officer Rex Tillerson from his post on Tuesday, replacing him with CIA Director Mike Pompeo. The move following a series of public refs over issues including North Korea and Russia was announced on Trump's Twitter account. Trump thanked Tillerson, 65, for his service and said he would be replaced by CIA Director Pompeo, who would do a fantastic job. He, 54, regularly briefed Trump on intelligence matters and is considered one of the most hawkish voices on North Korea in the president's inner circle. A retired army officer, he is a former conservative Republican member of the U.S. House of Representatives from the Kansas. And a top Russian general says his country will respond to a U.S. strike on Serbia targeting any missiles and launchers involved in such an attack if the lives of Russian servicemen are threatened. There are many Russian advisors, representatives of Russian Center for Reconciliation of Opposing Sites and servicemen in Damascus and its Syrian defense facilities. RI news agency coded head of Russia's general staff Valery Garismov as saying the warning came a day after U.S. ambassador to the UN Nike Haley said Washington was ready to unilaterally act against Syria just as it did last year when it bombed a Syrian government airbase over allegations of a ch chemical weapon attack. Thank you for joining that was the brief. Have a good night. Bye.